Hey guys, welcome back to our Let's Play in Dragon Age 2. Last time, we fought a bunch of dudes, and... You know what? I don't really like the idea of working for... Mercenaries. Because they told me to kill somebody who was... The traitor escaped. Oops. Well done. I hope whatever he offered you was enough to get you in on your own. Well, I like the i I like the idea of working for. Wait until you know, like you have your special. Are you a Fenril? You must be Gamlin's nephew. Interesting. Whoa. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. He didn't say anything about me, did he? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. They really changed to elves. Oh, that texture popping. How do you know Gamlin? How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. I'll do whatever it takes. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the Gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him, and you're in. Okay. Well, that was easy. Huh. You know... I was gonna say, you know, elves do wear shoes. Hey, buddy. Greetings once again, Sarah. Have you come to trade? Uh, Fenril sent me. I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, a Fenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. Aveline. Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice. Pay? Or I beat it out of you, and your men. <laughs> hey! Stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. <laughs> now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. Hey. Done. So, apparently, uh, you need about four sovereigns total to get in, but... Hey, Fenril. Here you go, as requested. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Yay! By the way, I really think that... Yeah, you know what? Oh. Oh, yeah. Definitely cool. <laughs> Aveline is a good girl. She's like, uh... Some of the characters in this game are good. Other ones, not so much. And don't worry. You will be... The main point of your game, or of Hawk's journey, is to basically make a lot of money. Any luck? Yes. They've agreed to help us. 
I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. Uh, for a year. <laughs> the longest we're safe. The blight may still spread, but for now, we have a new home. If only Carver were here with us. Damn it, Mom. And Wesley. Let's just see what happens. We have a long year ahead of us. So it looks like I've already seen a long year. <laughs> Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So he remained, paying off his debt, made a name for himself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. There's also another reason. But, then again, maybe the champion isn't a, uh, No! Andraste's tits, human! You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can- No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. We have experience. We've fought and killed Darkspawn. How many of your hired men can say the same? Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. We'll be fine. We've made a name for ourselves this last year. We'll find something. We have to. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. <sighs> Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. That might work. He always seems to know what's going on. We might as well ask. Otherwise... I don't know what we'll do. Oh. Hey! Wow, I'm a bad rogue. Ah. Oh, God. I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the Merchant's Guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. Awesome. Off you go. <gasps> How do you do? Varric Tethras, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He would know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would? I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. You know who we are. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. 
The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. And what about Bethany? You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. She is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly, I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. Are you in the expedition? You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The deep roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. Hmm. You're a little too smooth. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. And that's your big plan. I hope there's more to this, like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? Why not? It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Wow, that's... That's some luck. Keep a hand on your coin, Hawk. There are more cut purses in Hightown than in the rest of the city combined. Wow, there's... <laughs> oh, that's some lag for our own dwarven rogue. Hey, it's Bodan and Sandal. Okay. Oh, why is there such lag? They'll let anyone into High Town these days. What'd you say, Hugh? You? Ugh! Lag! Such terrible lag. You don't seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother. Carver. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. <laughs> hmm. Avert your eyes, for the dog. Nah. <sighs> Did you see a couple of children? Oh, by the way, this is the Amel Estate. Doesn't look like much, but hey, it's important. Uh, oh, dog. Good boy. Eh. Sebastian! Stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. 
No. What happened to my family was murder. And here we have Sebastian. I don't really like him. He's a bit preachy. Like, he's really preachy. But, eh. I like the Chantry. This is the only place in Hightown where the Merchant's Guild won't come looking for me. <laughs> huh. Well, that seems rather good. Ooh, a chest. Ah. So, what's this? Smuggler's Scale and Branding. Ah. Uh. There you go, sis. Imported circle staff. <laughs> yeah, it's imported, all right. Yeah, <laughs> imported. Like, take it. I'm surprised that the. Uh, Chantry would still have, you know, some of these. I should have gone. Good day to you. You see, not everyone in I town is. He's better than what I got. Uh, surprisingly, yes. As I was saying, even if you find a uh, an item that's better than oh yeah, if you find a shield that's better than Aveline's current shield, do not sell it. Don't sell it. Kirkwall is so dull. Yeah, yeah, that's just what we need. A little more. One so wealthy could use a new pair of boots, yes? Mm, maybe. Boots of the Elder, gloves. Uh, yeah. Don't ever up. Uh, there is something we can buy. That's always important. So, I'll just... Backpacks are important. Why? Because they allow you to carry more stuff. Can we afford hey, anything here? Hey, adventurer! Come replace your old crap! Wow, that's... That's, uh, pretty blunt. Always check the diamond. Backpacks are important. Marcher's plate. Nope. Not for me. Dwarven leather bless bre blah, blah, blah. breastplate. Uh, nope. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. Dwarven leather. No. 
helmet, wyvern scales, gauntlet, surfacer stone boots. That's a weird thing. Stone boots. Etched. No. Tome of technique. That would be nice to have, but no. Cross rune boarding. Hey, worthy. Hawk, long time no see, my friend. Worthy, when did you get back into town? Oh, yeah. just a month or so ago. Things didn't work out in Orzammar. No. You aren't still working for Athenrol, are you? Your year must be up by now. Uh, I'm funding an expedition. I'm looking to become an explorer. Of a sort. I heard. Bartrand's hard to take, but his information is usually good. Hard to take? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. Thanks, Worthy. Cra for crafting, it's a lot simpler now. All you have to do you have an unlimited supply of these materials now. You need one dragon's blood, which is easy to get by, uh, six aura column, six silverite, and nine lyrium. Trust me, getting these materials is simple. <laughs> like, once you get these materials, that's it, you're done. You don't need to do anything. Hey, we have the Black Emporium. Uh, now we have to go through all of these places. This is, what's here? Duty. Oh, right, yeah, Thundermount. Duty. Duty. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go to the Black Emporium. This is the Black Emporium. Take this all. I'm tired of those plebeian items. Take what you like. No charge. No charge, Thaddeus. You hear me? Yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here, guys. Um, I will explain what this place is next time. Have fun.